Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Pink Fresh Studio. And today we're going to create a new layout using the Lovely Blooms collection. Lovely collection, beautiful actually. Lots of florals, beautiful um, designs and super, super versatile. So let me just tell you what, like, you know, draw me to this um, layout today. So I was going to the papers and I love this arch paper. The name of the paper is Live in the Moment. And I thought it was perfect for the picture of my husband and I on a thread. 23rd anniversary so i'm gonna pull out the 12 by 12 version and i'm gonna pull one of the six by six versions of the paper and literally i'm gonna fussy cut the arches but i'm gonna be careful because i was thinking maybe i keep them as arches i was thinking maybe i move them to the side and then i'm like i'm gonna transform it into banners so because some of the arches are not complete and some of the arches like kind of overlapped i am going to play with them to cheat the eye and I'm going to call it camouflage. So reinventing the paper to work on my layout. So you're going to see that I'm starting with my 6x6. Six six and literally I'm going to take the big uh, pink. It's kind of a peachy tone that is attached to the row of rainbows or like arches. I'm going to pull those two together from the 6x6. Six because six, they were just the perfect size. They are not going to stay together on the end product. And the end product. That was the whole point. I want to have separate arches. I don't want to keep them as a whole. I want to break them apart and play with them. But I started with those. Now from the big paper. First of all, I'm going to take out the branding bar. And then I was thinking maybe I trim them and make them smaller. But the more that I thought about it, I'm like, no, I'm going to keep them as is. I'm just going to play with some of them. So let's start with the... Um, on the left hand side of the paper like you know with the arches facing down because we're gonna say it that way this the piece that comes on the side kind of peach pink i'm gonna take that piece so you're gonna see that it's gonna leave like there is a peach piece that is overlap over a pink arch uh and then those and then there's a the set of arches that is overlapping that pink arch so i'm gonna take that peach part out now that out of the arches i am not gonna cut all of the arches i'm gonna cut just a piece of them so you can see that i'm taking around four of the arches counting from the center out i'm gonna take them out i don't want that big piece i want it a little bit smaller because i don't want to take over the entire page i want to give this layout some breathing space so i'm taking some of that and then i'm gonna take the big pink arch that is attached to those little uh you know set of arches so i have you're gonna see that the pink piece literally it looks like really weird because it has like two of the arches cut out of it so now here's where it took me a while is like how am i gonna set this up i had so many ideas i played with so many formations until i decided like i said i want to keep each single arch as a separate piece so that meant that i have to trim some of it in camouflage like i said paper uh reinvention re in yeah re innovation of the paper that's the best way to say it in other words camouflage so i have to camouflage those kind of cut edges so that it looks like i have a full banner like for example on the pink and the big pink banner like i have that piece like you know hanging up because i pull out the peach so i need to make sure that that big banner reads as if it's like it's not a big banner it's an arch but i'm like i said i'm gonna create him i'm gonna turn him into banners so i'm gonna transform that banner into like um so it reads as if it's a large piece so to do that like trust me i like you know wreck my head trying to come like think about how can i do it and then i was thinking that first of all if i leave it as is there's a big just a rectangular piece sticking out what if i trim i'm gonna say around i think i trim around a one and a quarter inch of that in a long piece that was sticking out and then i'm gonna glue that piece to the left of it so that it kind of widens out the pink area again like i said camouflage okay so you're gonna see it. i'm gonna use the grid on my mat to help me just extend the look of the banner it's not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be better than what it is right now trust me you're gonna see the end result you're gonna you know just trust the process with me guys so you're gonna see now it looks bigger it camouflages it's not perfect but it's a better camouflage than before so another thing is at the beginning when i was like you know setting this up i was thinking maybe i keep them all in one single line 
didn't look that great especially because i have lines of all the arches that i've cut out so instead i'm going to play with different levels you know see i'm going to set them up in different levels so once i'm happy with what like i have this idea in my brain i'm going to go ahead and glue them and i was thinking how am i going to keep them together so i'm like oh i'm gonna no i was thinking i stapled them onto the layer but then i'm like no let's mix give it something that's gonna give texture that's gonna give you that impression of a banner i am actually going to run eyelets through it so for that i pull out my crop of dial and i'm creating holes i'm measuring like you know each of the banners run a quarter of an inch from the right and left side and run maybe half a quarter of an inch from the top of each of the banners and i'm going to punch holes that go straight onto the layer and i'm just running eyelets in it i'm putting actually gold eyelets these are all from fiskars um i had them if you have eyelets that are left over and you want to get rid of them give me a call i'll take them off your hands and then i'm going to you're gonna see that i'm just gonna start going one by one i am gonna place them literally in different levels so i'm going to take my time doing this um i started with it like you know setting it up and then it took me a while so i just cut it off the um video so not to bore you but like i said you're gonna see everything is in different levels and i did the same thing that i did with the pink banner just measure like around a quarter of an inch from the top and a quarter of an inch from each side and then just I created my holes straight onto the cardstock. I glue just a piece of the banner onto the cardstock and then I'm using my crocodile to create the holes and then add the eyelets. Once I have that, I'm going to slightly fold the bottom of each of the arches just to create a little bit of dimension, a little bit of movement. But then I decided that I needed to give it some lift, especially because, like I said, I'm camouflaging some of them. I'm like, you know, creating the visual idea, even though there's pieces of them behind them. So I'm going to bring some foam adhesive and just add a little bit kind of towards the bottom of the arch part of um, each one of the pieces that's just going to create that extra lift so i did not want to throw away that piece of paper like you know from the six by six where i had um cut the arches from so i'm going to use the negative part not the negative sorry the b part of it to back my picture again camouflage i don't want to throw away the pieces i'm just creating a frame for my picture uh, out of the pieces and i love the fact that it brings some of the peach that i have on the peach and the pink that it has on the arches but it has a, a little bit of blue which is perfect because it contrasts with all the white and pink from the background and it makes it stand out so once i have that a little bit of foam adhesive just to make the picture stand out and then i'm going to start like you know embellishing this layer so i'm starting with the big floral piece i love it i cut a piece of the flower out you know because it's going to be hidden and i can use it after so i'm going to put the big piece to the left of the photo i'm going to add some foam adhesive just to lift it up a little bit and then the little piece that i save i'm going to save in that i cut out sorry i'm going to save it i'm going to add it to the right of the photo kind of extend my die cut um when i was going through the stuff in my container for the ephemera i saw this piece that says love you most and i thought mm, great sentiment for this layer especially because like i said this photo is the only one that we have on our 20th anniversary uh we're a mess like you, you see us we're like after work we're like really like you know tired but i don't care you know i have a picture of my husband and i which is like you know a plus um so all i'm doing is just adding a few extra leaves just to make the cluster a little bit bigger um once i have that i added the sentiment for my he is my best friend just to add that lift that i'm looking for i'm gonna add that label again it's from the ephemera pack and i'm gonna add it to the top right corner of my photo just to kind of create a bit of separation from the arches and then i'm gonna work on that little cluster at the bottom so you're gonna see that right now i am bringing a piece of uh florals and that floral is actually from the six by six paper pad i actually die cut the reed paper for a project in one of my live sections and then i had some leftovers so i'm just gonna use it here i'm just trimming off the excess of the paper that's around it and then i'm just gonna glue it to the bottom right corner of my photo just to kind of like i said bulk up the cluster a little bit of foam adhesive is gonna do the trick i also added the little piece of floral came from the ephemera pack and once i'm happy with that i think i need a little bit of greenery around it but i need just a tiny little leaf so i'm gonna go into the puffy sticker and there's some like loose leaves there and i'm just gonna add them into my cluster now 
I also want like a little sentiment to go on that label and I added the here and now and I added one of the puffy stickers there. You're going to see that the here and now sentiment is actually move. It's going to move locations at the end of the layout. And then to balance my layout, I knew that I needed to add another cluster towards the right of the page. But again, I have to make sure that I don't make it super heavy because it doesn't because I want the focus to stay on the picture and I don't want something super heavy because it's going to make it really heavy on that side too. So I looked into the fabric ephemera and the ones a little, like kind of a seal that said live in the moment and I thought it was perfect because like I said, if you look at the picture, we're a mess and a half. Bad photo, but lovely photo because that's us on a regular basis. So I again, I used a piece of that wreath that I had cut out from the 6x6 to create the cluster. I'm going to use one of the florals from the floral ephemera. I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind my uh, little fabric um, sticker just to pop it up a little bit more. And then after that, you're going to see that I'm bringing, uh, again, another leaf from the puffy sticker. And then I'm going to switch the here and now sticker from the top of the pic top right corner of the picture to the cluster next to on the bottom right of the picture. And I'm actually going to add a small circle that says love from the chipboard shapes to that a placement now to create my title i kind of struggle with titles a lot but this one was actually pretty simple i knew that i wanted to bring the same idea from the top of the page you know those uh, idea of like the eyelets and something hanging to the bottom of the page just to balance this out so i went to measure um a one and a quarter inch from the bottom and i make sure that the eyelets are going to hit the same location of the outer out most eyelets on the top so once i have that i'm just gonna punch holes onto the cardstock add eyelets and then i'm gonna uh, run twine through it twice i am not gonna tie it i just want enough to create the illusion that i wrapped it twice so you're gonna see that i'm just going to kind of pseudo measuring and then once i have it in place i'm just gonna run it and then to keep it in place i was like you know i'm gonna put a little bit of glue and it's gonna stay in place but it's really hard to like you know twine can be slippery guys so you're gonna see that i start with glue and i'm like ah, oh, it's not working so my choice because i'm gonna add a chip or sticker that is gonna hide anything that i put underneath i'm actually gonna go ahead and staple it so i'm using my mini stapler just to keep um the strings in place so i'm able to keep it really taut like at tension so it's gonna stay the string is gonna stay a little bit more straight and not move around and then i'm gonna add a little bit of foam adhesive behind that chipboard that says together and it brings that orange from the top and i'm gonna place it right there but now i need like something that gives me that impression of like something tied up so i went into the wrap around wrap around element die set and there's like a little bow there so i cut it twice one at a white cardstock and white and one from like matte gold um paper and i'm gonna glue them one on top of the other one with a little bit of an offset so i want the pink uh, sorry the white bow underneath to show and also the gold to show on top and i'm gonna glue it to the top right corner of the together chip or sticker at the bottom and that's my title now let's continue with the idea of the banner at the top i'm just gonna run some twine to the ones that are sitting at there's like three rows of banners really what i created like camouflaging so i'm gonna try to hold the first two at the bottom just by running tape from the back of the running tape sorry running twine from the back of the eyelids and i'm holding it together with some red tape that little one there i need to camouflage it because there's nothing underneath that like you know there's not there's no second hole so i'm just going to kind of stick the twine underneath the big one and just hold it with some um, glue and then for the big ones i did not want to have the same idea so instead i went and tied a bow and that's just gonna bring like you know the idea of that bow that i have on the title um to the top part of my layout and pretty much we get into the like to the end of this so i did my first bow make sure that to keep it in place a little dot of glue behind it so it stays in place and then i'm gonna do the second bow outside of the camera because i struggle with the second bow i gotta be honest once i have that i need to add a pop of shine so i am using the uh, ombre glitter drops and this is the i think is rising shine but it's the one that has silver and gold I thought it was a beautiful combination for this. So I'm going to add three 
to each one of the clusters so i put one next to the title one at the bottom of the cluster on the right one to the bottom of the cluster next to the picture on the left and i'm gonna add a little bit of more glitter elements to pretty much every corner of the clusters i'm not going to overload the page but i need some pops of shine here and there once i have that i know my lens or journal i'm going to go right next to the large uh, banner that is like you know has all the little arches together and that's about it you know what i like i said love for this turn out i saw the paper i had different ideas but then you know this just came like super quick it took me literally an hour to put all this together and i hope you enjoy it as always if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me i would love to help you um remember to subscribe to the channel for more beautiful content uh and as always you know thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you soon take care guys bye